sound is vibration. If you want to make things to make beautiful sounds, you need to understand how they vibrate. If you hold a pipe like this and you strike it, will it make a beautiful sound? When you want an object to make a beautiful sound, you have to let it vibrate freely as if floating in the air. You don't want to suck up the energy and restrict it with your whole hand. You want to barely touch it with the tip of your fingers. What happened? Well, you don't only have to touch it with the tip of your fingers. You also have to find the sweet spots. Let's try to find the sweet spots. The sweet spots are at about 25% of the length on each side. or both sides. Not only thin pipes have sweet spots, you can also use fat pipes, tiles, rocks, wood, or any other rigid object. Remember that for something to vibrate freely it has to be like floating in the air. If a pipe was vibrating floating in the air, some parts would move a lot and some parts would move very little. To illustrate this, we will use a really long pipe. This pipe is so long that you can really see it vibrating. Hold the long pipe at a point that is not the sweet spot. The pipe will vibrate for a short amount of time. If you hold it at the sweet spot, it will keep vibrating for long. Now, see that there are some parts of the pipe where the pipe is moving a lot and some parts where the pipe is moving very little. If you hold the pipe where it is moving a lot, that will kill the vibration. But if you hold it where it's moving very little, the pipe will keep vibrating. So the sweet spots are the parts of an object where the object is naturally not moving much. Now that you know this, maybe you can try to make new objects vibrate. Probably noticed that larger objects make lower pitch sounds than smaller objects. This is because large heavy things tend to vibrate more slowly than small light things and lower vibrations make lower pitch sounds. If you know how fast an object can vibrate, you can tune a bunch of objects to create musical scales and make your own musical instruments. In the next video, I will show you how to tune a pipophone.